Greetings fellow humans, it's Melinda the Good here. Westerns and cowboys are totally in right now. Unfortunately, I do not own Red Dead Redemption, so I will have to make do with this short indie game called Dead Horizon. What was the advice that old Shootus gave you? Be fast, breathe, don't miss. Oh, come on, he told you more than that, didn't he? You can remember. With an iron like that, it takes only seven pounds of pressure to kill a man. And if you pull that trigger, ain't nothing that can save you, Bonnie Star. So by the very lights of hell, don't you miss. Don't you miss now. Don't you miss. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there are robots in this game. Ooh. Ooh. The town's on fire, there looks like dead bodies in the background, and there is a uh, killer bandito robot in front of us. Do we shoot him? I guess we shoot him. Go for the head? You can't shoot him, not yet. Anyone that tried the bullets never made it through the dust. They just disappeared. But there's a moment, you saw it, when he killed all those people, when he raised his hand and sent the sand down their throats. When he raises his hand, the sand parts for an instant as it whips around him. Enough time for just one shot. But that's all you've ever needed. Wait for it. Wait for it. Almost. Be ready. Fingers loose. Breathe. Remember to breathe. And... What? Now pull fast, fast, as fast as you can. Pull, pull, and shoot. Pull the cursor below the frame. Oh! Pull back to draw your gun. Ah! Introduction. Hot dog, pretty straight shooting there. Of course, cans don't shoot back. Now put that thing away and listen up. How do I put it away? Pull the cursor, boo. Okay, yep, there we go. Ain't an easy thing looking a man in the eye and ending his life. You sure that's something you want to learn to do? I don't know if you have the stones for it, girl. But you did have the stones for it, didn't you? Didn't you? What are you doing? When my candle burns at both ends, it will not last the night. But ah, my foes, and oh, my friends, it gives a lovely light. Your favorite poem. How's that going for you? It does shed a lovely light. Who's this? An oddly peaceful painting. Who is it of? Did it look like your mother, or is that just how you remember it? The painting doesn't matter. You never really gave it a good look. Normal hotel desk. Only one book is ever inside it. The desk is made of good wood. You're stalling. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. The desk doesn't matter. We're in a hotel. Stop stalling. You can't stay here. And you didn't. You didn't stay here. You went downstairs. You played cards. You drank too much. You lost more than you could afford to lose and called him a cheat. All right, our first fight. Who are you? Oh, now pull. What? No, no, you were faster than that. I wanted to look. Okay, so we called him a cheat. And then what we not yet? That will make you a murderer. Only pull if he pulls. Ah, okay. 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 Weird laws, but what? He's dead. You can put the gun away now. Killed your first man that day. They started calling you Blood and Piss Star after that. What else could they do after people started talking about how he pissed and bled all over himself? All while gasping and cursing about being shot by shot down by a woman. Of course, doesn't matter that you were there. That you know it didn't happen like that. Because you got a reputation after that. His family was rich. 
Local law said it had been self-defense at first, but then they had a retrial by proxy after you left. Guilty. Six months to a year if they went easy. The rope otherwise. It was only a matter of time before a bounty hunter came calling. Ooh, Japanese samurai bounty hunter. You gave him a chance to walk away. Okay, we're gonna have to shoot this guy too. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. Oh no, he was fast, but you were faster. Oh, did I not do it? Keep my chest away. Ah, oh, I see I didn't pull the gun out properly. Nothing left to shoot. You could put your iron away now. Can I can I um not kill the people? Like what if I gave him a non-lethal shot? Like in the leg or something, or hand. But you never shot anyone that didn't make you. They all deserved it. Right? Right? They both could have walked away. And that bounty hunter was famous. Hundred Head Fred. Liked to bring them in alive, but didn't mind making them dead. Took you from having reputation to being infamous. However, bounty hunters look after their own. And the Red Stars didn't give you much choice, did they? You only had heartbeats. Ooh, there's two, three, three of them, oh my god. No time, slap leather, or they're gonna gun you down. So do I have to wait? Do I, do I just go now? Oh. No, 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 you were like lightning, you didn't hesitate. Okay, I'm, I'm a terrible storyteller, apparently. You'd be dead if you had. Okay, so no waiting for this one. Slap leather, or they're gonna gun you down. Okay, uh, let's go for the guy in the middle first. They're dead. You can put that away now. Okay. Bushwhackers. They didn't give you a choice. We're a pretty bloodthirsty person. You had to kill them. They were going to put you in the ground. Gunning down a gang of men that got the drop on you? That turned someone into a legend. Nicknames like One Shot Star, Bouncing Bonnie Blaster, Darling Deadeye. All your drinks were free, everyone wanting to hear you talk about the time you put a bullet through a man's head. And watched his teeth fly out the back. Of course, when you're a legend, everyone wants you. Lowlifes, thugs, gunslingers, lawmen out to make a name for themselves. Lawman says you've killed five men. He's not wrong, but if he pushes it, he'll make it six. Oh, he's got like a robot arm. Okay, we gotta wait for him. Them's the rule of the West. He didn't pull on you. You pulled first this time. Oh my god. Okay, we are slowly descending into more and more lawlessness. What? They're dead. You can put that away now. Oh my god. He was faster, but he missed. You didn't. Not this time. Shot down a sheriff in the middle of his own town. Everyone saw. Every man, woman, and child. All of them terrified. Terrified of you. Most men, regardless of cause or need, will blink an eye or draw a breath before they pull the trigger. You won't. They can see it in you. And what's left? How can you even make a living now? Bounty hunter, the Red Stars hate you. And who'd hire someone with your reputation as a caravan guard? Go back to the farm, the trail of blood would lead right back to you. It's too wide and too long. So, there was drinking. Lots of drinking. And gambling. Lots of gambling. Days blurring into one another. Before the screams, hearing the screams. Saw him there, dressed like death, setting fire to the town, killing for no reason. Couldn't shake the feeling that he was here for you, that everyone else was just in his way. Could have run, stagecoaches' horses were nearby, probably gotten away. 
would have been smarter, this man, this thing, not like anyone you fought before. A force of nature beyond bullets and steel, a walking maelstrom. Yet here you are, face to face with a gathering storm, between it and everyone else screaming and crying and running with nowhere to go. Or maybe once in your miserable little life, the pull of a tr trigger might actually mean something. Just wait for your moment, wait for it, wait for him to raise his hand, let the dust apart just long enough. Right, so this is the beginning, okay. Two moons and, and a robot. Let's do this. And whatever you do, Bonnie, don't you miss. Ooh. Did I do it? Oh, you did it! Oh! Oh, that was, that was a really cute short little cyber western, I guess you could call it that. Like... Yeah, when I saw the Japanese samurai guy, dude, I'm like, yeah, this... This isn't your traditional western. But how can I say no to robots and cowboys? It's like one of my favorite things, honestly. And it actually reminds me of one of my favorite books called Iron West by Doug Tennaple. It was all about robots and cowboys too. And I have a thing for, for cheesy kind of robot cowboy western stuff like that. And this was a good game. This game really captured the essence. It was interesting. It was really short, but there was a lot to do. And it really puts you into the shoes of the protagonist. I think this game has the potential to, I don't know, beat like a full full game. I want to see a, a western cowboy robot thing going. Be m way more interesting, in my opinion. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed playing this. I hope you enjoyed watching me fail miserably and have the slowest reaction times of any cowgirl in the West. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.